hope you're doing really well. Um, I'm in Devon today and I'm about to head out on a ride and I'm going to be testing out this new bike computer that has been sent to me by Trim. There it is. Uh, they've sent this to me because they want me to try it out and share my thoughts with you. They've also sent me another one that I'm going to be giving away. So uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram if you want to win it. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at the features of the Trim One. We'll have a quick look at it and then I'm going to put it on my bike and we'll go out for a ride. Here is the bike computer itself. You can see it actually looks really, really nice. I really like the finish on this. It reminds me of an iPhone or something like that. It's got a super clear screen. I think it's 300 DPI. It's got all the metrics on there, heart rate monitor, power meters, etc. Let's have a closer delve into some of the features. Uh, it is very, very lightweight. It only weighs 70 grams. It looks really cool I think you'll agree size wise pretty much spot on it's bigger than my Wahoo Element Bolt that I think is a bit too small um, it is smaller than my Garmin Edge 1000 which I think is too big so all in all I'm liking the size and I'm liking the weight I mean it weighs practically nothing one of the other really cool things about this is it comes in a ton of different colours so I have got this red one because it matches my Windy Miller well it matches some of my Windy Miller another really cool thing about this bike computer is it's got a really, really long battery life, so it's meant to be really good for touring. Uh, I think just on a single charge, it'll do 15 hours, um, but you can really, really massively extend the battery life by putting on the supplied speed sensor that you put on your hub. And even better than that, it comes with a solar charger. So I'm just gonna grab that and show you. So here's the solar charger. You just attach that to your handlebars and put the other end on your bike computer and theoretically, as long as there's enough sun, tricky in England, you could keep going forever. Whilst I'm showing you the bits in the box, here is the speed sensor that you attach to your hub, the out front mount, charging cable, a little rubber bits for um, putting in there when you attach it to your bars. What else is there to say? Oh, um, it is meant to be water resistant. I'm not gonna check that by throwing it in a puddle, but you know, it is England, so it might rain. Uh, that'd be a good test. Uh, and the other thing to note is that you need to download the app um, to you get the best functionality out of this. So I'm gonna stop gassing, I'm gonna go and get changed, jump on my bike, and um, let's go for a ride and we'll try it out. Okay, not being funny, right, but why would you have the bolt on the underside? <laughs> I mean, really? Here goes the solar charges. Finally, the speed sensor is going on. Done. I'm now going to pair my power meter and the speed sensor, and uh, hopefully that's gonna be straightforward. Can you see that? It's asking me to select the wheel size so that it's all accurate. There's my devices paired. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and plan a route quickly on the app because I've heard that one of the best things about the Trim bike computer is the turn-by-turn, -turn, very, very clear navigation. And the um, fact you've got such a long battery life means it'd be really good for touring. Um, so I am gonna plot something on here. My only slight reservation is, apparently you can only put 28 waypoints. Now, if I was going on a big, long bike tour, 28 waypoints is not going to be enough for navigation so I hope that they're going to make it um, so that you can put more waypoints on there. There's also no app integration for the Trim and say Komoot or Ribo GPS or any of the other route planners. I believe there's some way of importing a GPX file if you want to use a route that way. So I'm just going to plot something on the app so that we can test out the turn-by-turn -turn navigation and how it reads your power meter and all that sort of stuff. It seems pretty simple. The map system is actually really good. I don't know if you can see that. There's so much glare out here. But the route planning thing, or thing on the app seems really good. So, let's go. Ok, 
Okay, so I have done a little loop. I love the clear display. It's so easy to see all your power data, all your metrics and everything like that. Also, the map is super duper clear and I really like the way it gives you step-by-step -step directions. So it will literally tell you which road you have to turn down and it will name the road. It will count down the distance till you get to the road and then you can turn. That's really good for someone like me. You know I'm always getting lost. <laughs> so I like that feature. On the downside, I would like to be able to zoom out on the map. I want to see um, how far I've got to go, stuff like that. Because the device is not touch screen, I can't easily zoom out and I can't see where the next part of the route is. I can just see what's coming up immediately. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do a little bit more of my ride and then I'll give you more thoughts when we get home. super super grey apparently I've still got 100% of my battery left I guess the solar charger doesn't mind British weather which is lucky isn't it <laughs> yay solar power okay so just gonna upload that to Strava which is easy you just connect to your Strava account and you can upload straight away after your ride done Oh my goodness, I look so dishevelled. <laughs> I'm really, 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 really tired today, but I wanted to get this done. Uh, yeah, there was not a lot of wattage going on in that ride. No wattage bazookas there. <laughs> now that's done, I'll give you a quick run through of the features, uh, how I found it on our first ride. Well, firstly, I really, 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 really like the clear screen. It is so much more crisp and more defined than my old bike computer. It's super easy to read, even in low light. I really, really like the LCD display. I like the look, the size, the feel of it. That's really cool. I like the navigation, the way it's very obvious where you've got to turn, because I suck at navigating. I like the way you can upload straight to Strava. I like the way you can customise the data fields. The app is a cool tool. If you're in the middle of a ride and you suddenly want to go somewhere, it's very easy to quickly make a new route or put in a new destination. Things I liked less, I would just prefer if it was a touch screen. I, I just would. Final thoughts? I really like it. Yeah, there's a couple of things I would probably tweak. Overall, I think it's pretty great. So if you want to win one for yourself, the green one that I'm giving away, make sure you follow me on Instagram because all the competition details will be there. So make sure you enter. Uh, and finally, I just wanted to say thank you to Trim for sponsoring this video and for sending me the products to give away. Your support of the channel is much appreciated. And thank you to you, of course, for watching. See you next week.